What's up, cannabis dispensary owners? My name is Samuel Fisher. Um, I don't know if you saw my 10 growth hacks for cannabis dispensaries in 2024. If not, you would already know that number one in my strategy is the optimized dispensary website. And so I wanted to make an actual video to break this down just by itself and what an optimized dispensary website will look like. And so one thing I would recommend that you do if you haven't already is to go down to my go to my website and get a cheat sheet. Uh, if you want to get this cheat sheet, you could just go right here. Dispensary marketing cheat sheet. Oh, I'm sorry. Go right here. Dispensary marketing cheat sheet. Enter your name and email. They'll send it to you. Get something that looks kind of like this. It's a little bit more fancier. This is the PDF that you'll get. Anyways, uh, so what I wanted to mention. When we're making a cannabis dispensary website with an optimized conversion rate, you're going to want to make sure that you account for each of these steps in our cheat sheet. And so just right off the top of the bat, here's actually a website that I'm working on right now for a client. Um, and so this is actually an example of what an optimized cannabis dispensary website would look like. So it's very easy call to actions. Any given spot number right here, you can click and call. This looks really good, does it not? The design looks awesome. And this is actually following this cheat sheet. So let's talk about this number one, uh, one by one. And so first things first, you're gonna need to, have to make sure that you have a website. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have CTAs on your landing pages. And so what is the CTA? Uh, looks kinda of like this. Uh, just quick little, here's the menu. Click to that, goes to the online store. Uh, then you're going to make sure that you have a CT on the header of each page. It's this right here. So this is a little number. Um, if they want to make a purchase, they can call this number. Right? Are the phone number and ad email address consistent? Uh, this is one thing that you're going to want to make sure that you have on your website as well as your listings or your phone number and an email address that are consistent. And so on this one, uh, this website is actually still in production as, as we speak. So, but you can see right there, there's there's the email address, here's the phone number. And so you would actually find this also on the listings as well. So logo and identifying information present. Absolutely, you, you can quickly tell that this is a fountain, fountain Superstore, Fountain Organics, right here. Do you include your customers' most visited pages? Um, absolutely, um, we have the specials, we have the menu, we have the benefits. It's all right here. These are the pages that the customers, when they come here, they're more than likely wanting to go to the menu or to see the location or to make a phone call. Those are the three things that are most obvious and present. Are the areas that you serve clear and defined? Right here, Colorado Springs. There it is, really easy, right? Do you have a site speed that takes two seconds to load? Um, yeah, I guess we got a testimony, we got it right here. Oh my God, there we go. Do you have a site speed that takes two seconds to load? Um, this is something that, and so there's two, multiple ways to do it. There's a tool called Lighthouse, and there's also this page speed thing right here. Well, let's do it. So right here, just type in your URL, click Analyze, and we'll get a score. So this one's actually doing really well. We just optimized this one for speed to make sure technical SEO is on point, making sure that they're having a fast loading time while this test is getting done. Um, it is going to be less than two seconds. Uh, we'll come back to that test in a second here. Looks like it's going to... Take a little bit of time here. And so the next, the, the next big issue or the next big aspect of having an optimized dispensary website is also SEO, as you know. And so here's the, the score. See how they're both in the green. If mobile's in the green, desktop's also going to be in the green. Desktop's usually charges a lot slower, or excuse me, a lot faster than on mobile. And so it's taking its time there. However, it is going to be a green. Um, and so for your SEO, for your site optimization, um, you are going to want to optimize usually for search engines. And so basically what you're going to want to make sure, sure you're doing is you're optimizing your pages for your target keywords. And so on this page, for example, right now, we followed a semantic strategy um, for Colorado Springs Dispensary. This is the, the keyword that we're following, which also is optimized for see, see where Colorado Springs Dispensary, Colorado Springs Dispensaries. Um, we're following a density slash semantic approach uh, to ensure this site gets some consistent rankings. Um, you're going to want to make sure you have meta tags, H1s. That's some SEO stuff. Um, if you don't know what meta tags and H1s and that sort of stuff are, you might want to go ahead and Google, go, go ahead and Google them. Um, but basically, H1 is the title tag. Meta tags. When you're going on Google, dispensary, you're going to type in dispensary. Right. 
This meta tag is this right here. Um, and so you're going to want to optimize this for your keyword or keywords. You're going to want to make sure if you're serving multiple areas that you have separate service pages for those locations. And so actually, one of my clients, we actually have a good example of this. So if we go down to the bottom, um, as you can see here, cannabis seeds in California, New York, Florida, Michigan. This is all just an SEO strategy to ensure that they're optimized for all these different locations. And this is something that your dispensary can be doing for different cities in your area. If a good sign that your SEO strategy is starting to work is if you're getting organic rankings in your city. Um, even if they're number 15, number 20, um, it's, it's a good sign that Google is starting to notice you and also rank you. And so a good tool that I would recommend is Google Search Console. Just connect that to your website. It'll tell you what your rankings are. Really easy tool to use. Finally, um, next next one up, there is this new, the Google Helpful Content Update in EEAT. Um, basically, it's just like these big words to basically say that Google favors helpful content that gives value. And so you're not going to want to just do some spammy AI content, although you can use the AI to rank, to be honest with you. You're going to want to make sure that your content's helpful. That's giving actual value to your readers. Um, next up, siloing out your content. This is actually part of an internal and external linking strategy. Um, and so basically you want to have a top page and then all your supporting pages linking to that page and vice versa. That's for the external internal linking strategy is, excuse me, external linking is having links coming from other sites to your page. Those are might also be known as backlinks. Um, you might not want them just for your website, but also for your listings. And you're going to want to make sure that these backlinks are on DA sites. 40 and up. And then finally, you want to keep pumping out content. And then if you want to have success in an area that many dispensaries in your area are not utilizing, you're going to want to start a parasite SEO strategy. That's another video for another topic. However, I did want to have a full breakdown on what an optimized dispensary website looks like as well as an example. And so that should be a lot of help for you. And I hope you're having a great day. My name is Samuel Fisher. If you want a free dispensary audit, you can come down to this website right here, uh, greendispensarymarketing.com, dispensary strategy session. I'll do a full audit just for your website, completely free of charge. Um, help you come up with a marketing plan for 2024 that will work. Hope you have a great day. My name is Samuel Fisher. Hope to talk to you soon.